Hello everyone, this is Kushagra. Welcome to our YouTube channel Devtown. If you like the content, do like, share and subscribe to our channel. So you'll be seeing a series of videos required for you to get a good understanding of web development. So in today's video students, we would be learning about the basics layout and the structure of the HTML and doc type and all other things. Uh, in the previous video, we have understood how to open a file in a VS code, how to install a VS code, how to open a folder in a VS code, like what all the basic settings that we need to do uh, before starting with the VS code. So if you don't know how to install and set up a VS code, please watch my previous video. I've explained that in a detail. So I've already opened a folder that is doc type and basics layout in VS code. So just create a uh, one folder and open it in a vs code and uh, create one uh, html file that is index.html file and uh, press enter so your file would be created and today we would be start coding with the html file and we would be understanding how to define a basic structure of the html file so the first uh, line that we uh, declare in the HTML file is the document structure or your doc type. So how to declare a document structure or how to give a declaration of doc type. So you need to give the opening anchor bracket and press exclamation mark and type doc type in caps and then HTML in small letters. So this is how you declare your uh, doc type in html5 so what does this means or like what does doc type stands for so doc type basically tells the browser what kind of coding language we would be using for developing our websites or uh, what is the standard language that we are using in our website so there uh, are various standards or like various declarations that we do for uh as various other versions of html because browser understands various kinds of uh html languages that is your html5 html4.1 uh, and xhtml and uh, various other versions previous versions of html and they have their different kind of uh, doc type declarations let me just show you let me go back to the browser so this is the geek for geek website so in this uh, you can see a doc type uh, is a declaration or an illustration that tells the browser about the markup language in which we are uh, doing the or uh, in which we are typing the current page so this is how you declare the doc type in the html5 and uh, if you will scroll down you will see how you declare the doc type in the html4 and uh, uh, other versions of html this is for xhtml and uh, yeah that's all so you don't need to worry about the declarations of the other html versions that is uh, 4.0 and xhtml because they are the older versions and nowadays the browser doesn't support for the older version versions you need to just worry about the s declaration of the html5 this was just for the information so i thought i should show you how to how we declare the declaration of the doc type in the previous versions so the next line that we type is the root tag so what is the root tag root tag is the html tag that we type and uh, this is how we declare the root tag and every other tag that we uh, write in the html should be inside the root tag because this is the main tag that we give uh, inside the root tag there are generally two kinds of tags that we put is the first tag that is your head tag and the second tag is your body tag just a second second is your body tag so yeah as you can see uh, there is a little bit of space uh, like the uh, in the line number three and four uh, this space is known as indentation student so as you know this head tag and body tag is inside the root tag that is your html so html tag is the parent tag for your head tag and your body tag so to know that like this html uh, head tag and body tag are the children of your uh, html tag we use indentation in programming and this indentation makes your code neat and tidy and clean so this is the good programming practice that every coder should follow 
so this indentation is very necessary and uh, this indentation is uh, done automatically by the vs code you don't need to worry about that and uh, yeah that's all about the indentation but if you are using any kind of uh, other editor such as notepad plus plus or your general notepad uh, this indentation won't be provided and uh, you need to give it by your own so that's all uh, so what do we generally write in the head tag uh, in the head tag we define the header files like metadata about your website that is your meta tag and your uh, title of your website or what all files do we need uh, in your website that's all we define in the head tag and whatever you write in your head tag won't be displayed into your browser window uh, this is just for the browser like before uh, loading your website or before uh, starting your website these all prerequisites should be ready for the browser so that's all we do in the head tag and in the body tag basically we type all kinds of tags that should be displayed onto your browser so let me just give a title in the head tag title yeah my first web site so this is the title of my website let me just open it with live server as you can see there is nothing into my browser window because i have uh, nothing done in the body tag this is i've just given the title so as you can see the title is displayed that is my let me just close all these windows as you can see the title is displayed that is my first website and uh, uh, if you want to change your title and uh, if you want to do give any other kind of a title that would be displayed over here so that's all about the head tag so let me just give uh, or let me just type a heading into the body tag so our heading would be first website so this is the heading and let me just add a paragraph also so this is the first website that i have created with the help of html and css so yeah this was the uh, paragraph that I've added. So let me just move back towards the uh, browser. So as you can see, the paragraph and the heading is added. So this was all about the body tag. So let me just repeat it once again, like what all things are to be added in the head tag and what all things are to be added into the body tag. So in the head tag, you add the metadata about your website that is data about data. So what all what should be your title and what all files do you need before loading your website so that all things are added into your title, uh, sorry, head tag. So suppose if you want to have a CSS file like this is the index.css file. Now I want to link this CSS file with my index.html file. So you need to specify this uh, CSS file into your head tag. So if you won't be specifying this CSS file won't be linked with your head tag or if you have any kind of a JavaScript file. So you need to link this. I won't be linking it today because uh, the, this session is just towards the introduction and the CSS is a bit more advanced topic. So I won't be jumping towards that. So I would not be linking today. I would be explaining it into my further videos. So that's how what that's what all you define in the head tag and in the body tag you give all those tags that should be displayed onto your browser window or that should be displayed into your website such as your heading paragraph or your image that's all and uh, now let me show you like uh, how the website look this is the how websites look so let me just move back towards the code 
now let me just tell you like how to give a comment in the vs in the html basically so for comment you need to give the opening anchor tag and press exclamation and two dash so as you can see whenever i press the two dash the rest of the things are done automatically by the vs code so vs code understands like now the coder wants to give the uh your comment or the coder wants to add the heading so it auto generates so that's why vs code is so famous so let me just give a comment this is the website that i have created with the help of html so comment are those lines that are used for uh, understanding suppose uh, you have written a particular code and uh, you are seeing this code after say five years so you won't be understanding like why i added this paragraph or why i added this heading so you can give the comment for your better understanding and comments are not displayed into your browser window so let me just move back towards my browser window and show you as you can see uh, there is only the heading and the paragraph tag uh, the there is no such like comments and all other things that i have added so comments won't be uh, displayed on your browser and these are just for the general information that you give so how to check whether the comments are working fine or not to check the comments whether the comments are working fine or not you can check your source code into your browser window so how to see the source code press the control button and then u so there would be new window that would be open uh, as you can see this is the new window just ignore this script tag which is there because this is the advanced topic that would be seen this is the javascript so we won't be focusing it uh, today just focus on this let me just remove yeah just focus on this part this much part so this is the uh, comment that we have given and as you can see it's showing in the source code but it's not showing in the website like main website so let me just shift back towards the vs code now like suppose giving this anchor tag and exclamation mark and dash dash all the time is a very tedious task so now if you want to comment this paragraph tag how to do it uh, there is a shortcut in the vs code that i would be telling you how to comment a particular line or a group of line if you want to comment that so to uh, comment a particular line say i want to comment this h1 tag so you need to just uh, bring your cursor towards this line so uh, press click right click on this line and then press control and forward slash yeah as you can see the h1 tag is commented now so if you want to uncomment it back just uh, press forward slash again and you can toggle it back as you can see you can comment and uncomment comment and uncomment so this is how we comment a particular line so now if you want to comment a group of lines let's say i want to comment this whole body tag how to do it so first of all you need to select this whole body tag and then press control and then forward slash as you can see this whole body tag is commented it's not showing because this line is already commented let me just remove this as you can see the whole body tag got commented so if you want to uncomment it just press this again let me just comment this line it's commented and let me just move back towards my browser as you can see it's working perfectly fine so let me just move back towards my vs code again yeah that's all about the comment and the basic uh, structure of the html now declaring this uh, uh, basic structure or your boilerplate code of the html is very tedious task again because whenever if you want to create a new html file say uh, index two dot html you need to type this same code again and again again and again in every html file so it's very tedious task so how to reduce this like how to reduce the time of uh, typing all these code again and again so let me just tell you like how to generate the boilerplate code or the uh, document structure very easily so i would be doing this in the second file that i have created that is index two dot html 
so you need to press the shift button and the exclamation mark that is the numeric key one and you will be getting an exclamation mark into your vs code and you will be getting this emit abbreviation option just press uh, enter over there and you can see the magic yeah the whole boilerplate code is generated automatically now you don't need to write this document type and html tag or your head tag again and again you need to just your document structure is read basically ready so that's all about the today students uh, we would be seeing you in the next video thank you